Welcome to a short introduction to the Eurostat database. At the homepage of the IUSE project, you can find a direct link to the homepage. And at this homepage and, and the IUSE homepage, you can find some screen dumps from the database and some uh, help text, which might make it easier for you and the pupils to find out what's, what to do when you enter the Eurostat database. But let's have a look. The front page consists of a lot of information, but if you are keen on statistics, it might be the solution to go into the most popular tables. This is an easy way to find relevant figures and updated figures about population, immigration, and so forth. You might have the situation where this is enough for you. But on the other hand, if you are interested in very specific uh, numbers, you can go into the complete database. The complete database is organized within a, within a tree structure like the one we're looking at here. So if you, for example, would like to know something about the inflation in the Europe, among the European countries, you would have to, for example, find out that it is economy and finance it's about. In here, you would pick the prices and uh, you would have to find this. And this could be confusion for, for some uh, people. Uh, one must admit that. And when you go into here, you'll find at least the table. The table will look like this. Um, and you can scroll down to find, uh, to find which is the latest figures. And this is fairly recent figures being uh, August 2015 now. Here it's easy to find out which countries has uh, the biggest or smallest inflation. Um, we have just pressed and we can find see here that, uh, Oh, I don't think we've got that sorted correctly. Now it comes. Uh, we can find out that uh, coming from a, a index of uh, 2005, uh, you can see that uh, in Romania, for example, you have uh, uh, a 57% increase in, in inflation compared with 2005. So, so this gives you a quick answer to the question. But be aware that uh, that there's more countries represented than the than the 28 European countries, but it gives uh, some good possibilities of comparison with relevant countries. But it might be a little confusing for some of the pupils. And many uh, many of the tables look like this, and uh, you have you have the possibility of adjusting. The things, for example, you would have to look at in the table. In this case, we could uh, take out that we would only like to see. Let's see, let me get rid of this. We would only like to see figures from 2015, 2010, and 2005. We update that. That's a very important. And now we have reduced uh, the table to consisting of these five years, or oh, three years, sorry. Um, we can also rearrange the countries shown by pressing the geo. Let's see here. It's always confusing when windows opens in different windows. And we can select everyone, unselect everyone, and then look at the countries we were interested in. Let's say it was Spain, Cyprus, and Ireland. We should have Cyprus within here. And update. And now the table is much more accessible. Um, this is fundamentally how it works. Sometimes uh, the table consists of different kind of possibilities easily to access when you press this unit button. And that is basically an introduction of how to use uh, these tables. There's a strong point about the, 
the European uh, table or database. And that is that that the that the table that the let's find the, the original table that a table like this about the population on the first of January that is kept within this link. So if you keep this link in a document or at a website, you can always access or anyway as long as the Eurostat people keeps this link to exactly this table then you can always access this table with the newest data in it. So in this case, you have solved one of the problems about working with databases or especially with numbers and statistics is that you get the latest figures if you want to have a discussion about development. This is a strong point. So use this if you are, when you are getting fam as a familiar with the Eurostat database. Good work.